Guys, who did it? Who did it? It's the same person. That's what you, the the character is actually based off of Nancy. A lot of people don't know that, but that's a that's a movie trivia fact that we're gonna start your day off with today. Okay, you're welcome. <laughs> Happy Thursday. Welcome to Z Education, and welcome to another episode of Try Not to Laugh. We're gonna jump right into this one, guys. If you are ready to play today's game, where if you laugh, you lose, you have to watch on Sunday. Head down and like this video, and if you are new here, please make sure you are subscribed and have the bell clicked for notifications when new videos are uploaded. Now on to today's game. Try not to laugh. Go. Oh, jeez. Dude, you see the girls do it while you're doing it. Don't do it, dude. You're gonna regret it. Gosh freaking dang it, I cut it too short. <laughs> yeah, gosh freaking dang it. Why did I do that? Why did I do it like that? <laughs> Could be worse, man. I'm cooked. That's a sweet shirt too, by the way. I have to say that. That is a badass shirt. <laughs> it looks like that. There's a character. Um, isn't it like Gru? With the kid's character, Despicable Me, right? Isn't there a character that looks like that? That's what you look like with a cool shirt on. That's <laughs> Don't cut the bangs unless you want the bowl cut after. When you find out your least favorite coworker was put on a performance improvement plan. What? <laughs> what a idiot. Oh, <laughs> what a loser. Good. 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 What a loser. It's a great feeling. You know, you don't want to bask in someone's failure, but if that person at work, you know, sends you 8 a.m. emails, they start talking to you before 9 a.m., before your coffee's gone, then you know what? You can celebrate a little bit. They call it Scheidenfraud, pleasure at the dismay of others. You don't want to, you don't want to indulge too much, just a little bit, you know, have a little taste. This is what a big screen TV looked like in the 80s. I want a giant screen TV. But I didn't want a giant screen taking over my living room. Look what Zenith built. By remote control, the screen rises from the fine furniture cabinet. Zenith presents space Dude, screen 45. More than three times the area of a 25-inch screen, wow. yet the picture is sharper than ever before in home giant projection TV. TV. Yeah, TV. And yeah. only Zenith has the screen that disappears. So I get my living room back. New space screen 45. Only Zenith has it. Anyone have this? I feel like I have, as I'm looking at this, I have like a, a touch of anxiety because I'm like, geez, can you imagine moving that thing? Look at that. That's a lot of weight right there. You need a freaking dolly. Probably three guys. This is your sign to dip the whole pizza in ranch. Oh no. Oh no. Ugh. Oh no. How about you dip no pizza in ranch? That's disgusting. All, like all you ranch people out there. I know some of you are watching this because you guys you guys are out there in droves. There's lots of you. You love the ranch on the pizza. And you eat it with the tots. You eat it with the wings. You eat it with everything. It's I, I don't know what it is, but that's disgusting. You know what they call that? They call that a heart attack. You're going to die. Don't, don't do that. <laughs> <laughs> oh. oh no. You got dad over here laughing. That ain't cool, man. Careful. Hey. Oh no. <laughs> what, are you, what are you teaching these kids? Look at that. We just talked about Schroeden Front. We're all laughing at this. This lady getting <laughs> Cheetos dumped on her. And the rats with wings congregating on her flocking to her, as they call it in the bird world. Um, it's just, no, man. What are you teaching these kids? Imagine explaining this to someone in 1897. They they wouldn't understand. They would not. You, yeah, I just, yeah, there's a lot of clips like this going around. These sororities trying to recruit new people to their sororities. They're going viral. How do you explain that to someone who doesn't even know what what a telephone is? 
you know? Just got to our hotel. I think we need to change rooms. We've just arrived at our hotel in Blackpool. <laughs> We've got a football match out of our window. You ready for this? Look, Mel, ready? Oh my God. I think it's Blackpool. Dude, you need to change rooms. What are you talking and about? someone else are playing. What are you crazy, talking about? That's crazy. Dude, no, 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 no. What, change rooms? You're at the football match. You're at the pitch. You're right there, mate. Go West Ham United. West Ham United till I die, mate. That's a fact. West Ham. Any West Ham fans out there, let me know in the comments. Let me know how I can grow the club. Okay, West Ham. That's right. I know nothing about West Ham. I just love the club. Good colors. Green Street Hooligans. Great movie. West Ham till I die, mate. You're not changing rooms. Teach the kids. Make them watch. Oh, what's he doing here? Oh, no. Oh, not the club toss. Dude, that's not just a club toss. That's an entire wardrobe toss. You threw all of your clubs. Gone. Done. Your wife's going to be happy. Maybe. You know, that you get rid of that initial cost. That's six, seven hundred bucks you spent on that set. The the on the flip side though I I feel for you man those clubs suck you hit a ninety they're they're not worth swinging anymore get new clubs this wasn't supposed to happen mm. okay that ain't good there you go you got uh, extra membership fees I will say it kind of looks like. I hope that was not something you brought to the gym. If that was in the gym, if those if that jump rope was in the gym, that's not your problem. The gym owner should have known better. I blame the gym owner. I do. Grandma does not care. Bro, God, Lee, Jerry. Oh, we oh we done. Oh, we done. Oh, jump. Oh yeah. <laughs> we done. Oh shit. <laughs> Hold on, I want to know what's going on with this video. It's like you knew. Did you look at the Google thing on the maps and it shows you that there's a raid, a speed trap, they say it on there? Which I love that feature, by the way. Let's help each other out. Cops, I know you might not like it, but we don't want the speeding ticket. It's, the, the economy's tough. Then don't speed. I Come on, man. We're late. Don't speed, folks. Okay, some people get real mad when I make those jokes. Legitimately, it's like, stop messaging me. Okay, it's a joke. My husband trying to understand paths. Oh, geez. I'm trying to be romantic, but I just didn't know which size to get you. Like, what do you mean you don't know what size to get me? Like, does it, like, there's number one, two, three, and four, five. Is it the number of kids that you have? That's what you get? Is it the older you get, like, the bigger it is, or the younger you are? Or you need one during the day, at night? Like, is it, like, at night while you're sleeping, like, it stops? What are you talking about? I'm trying to figure it out. I got nothing. I get this. Like, I get the same one every time. Oh, what do you, you mean? Size? The bigger is what? What are you talking if about? Your shoe size is like. It has nothing to do with your shoe size. So how you know which one? Who? How, who's a one and who's a five? That's it. They didn't explain it. All right. Well, um, I'm still left with a lot of questions. I don't know what those answers are. Ladies, here's. Okay, if you're going to send your guy to the store to get this kind of stuff, you need to explain what it's all for. Like, you can't just... I don't know. White people approaching the coleslaw at the function. What the... Um, you know, I'm going to go ahead and say that I don't do that. I hate coleslaw. So, I feel very attacked by this stereotype. Maybe it's accurate, but I don't, I don't fall into it. <laughs> I would say more accurately, like white girls going to get their pumpkin spice lattes. How about that? Can we change it? New studies show that if you let your child engage in independent play. You'll have a huge mess to clean up later. Oh yeah. Dude, look at that. I don't know why this, they do this, but my daughter does this with her dolls. She'll take them all out of the bin, put them in the, the bed. Oh, dude. Oh, dude. I'm so tired. <laughs> I'm so tired. Mystery meat is crazy. Bro, the miscellaneous meat is diabolical. Dude. Dude. I I'm so what? Oh, my God. They got another one. What? No. Oh my what? Okay, hold on. Oh, 
where is this foods foods less food for less where is food for less i want to know that and is this legal is it, you can buy miscellaneous meats what is this like bologna i guess isn't bologna kind of miscellaneous meat or do they just throw everything in there and grind it up for 198 are you taking it in this economy? Are you taking the miscellaneous meat? 198 looks like there might be, there might be about a pound of meat there. Dude, that's pretty cheap. Are you taking the miscellaneous meat? You feed your family for 198 without knowing what's in there. <laughs> Realizing I've only taken 632 steps today and it's for time for bed. <laughs> I don't know what, this clip gets me every time. Look at him. That's what a dance. What a dance. Uh, do we have any people out here that do this? The step thing? I think it is kind of good health wise to track your steps, but if you're obsessive like this at nighttime, I, I, I don't know. Maybe I'm wrong. The NFL experience. That sounds cool. Kid, you're the best. Sign with me and you're going to make millions. Griffin, get out there. Ow! It's his knee. Doc, you'll never play football again. Too bad, kid. You was going to buy me a house. <laughs> Dude, I, I feel like this is actually accurate because a lot of these guys get into the league and they play for three, four years, their rookie contracts, and then they're done. A lot of these guys don't play. Even the really, really good players only play for like seven, eight, Nine years, 10 is like, I mean, you are a unicorn if you're playing for 10 plus years and doing it at a high level. What do you do after that? That's what I don't know. First time at Top Golf. Oh, these ones always. Golf. Ooh. Ah. Oh, dude. Owie. I mean, at least, I mean, he was trying. I think that some of these people, they stage them, you know, where they fall into the net. I think they stage some of those falls. Try to get going viral here. But this guy, he's just out there being honest, trying to. Trying to hit the ball. Keep swinging, man. Keep swinging. You'll get better. What is one thing that would indicate that you're in your 30s to other people in their 30s? There was a time when we would go home after school and take our big toe and turn on our desktop computer, our gateway computer, wait for dial-up internet to log in, make sure no one's on the phone, and then we would rate our friends on a social media website from one to eight, <laughs> our top eight friends. Yep. And then the level of drama that would ensue if you moved a friend from three to four after they slighted you, nothing can match that. Dude, those are wild times actually. And then you'd get, as you're doing that, you're on like MSN Messenger. Some of you had AOL probably. And you had like your status on there, what song you're listening to or and who you're dating, dating, you know, in sixth, seventh grade. Uh, and then you'd sit and chat with people that you were just with at school all day. So, I don't know why we did that, but we did. Lowest credit score ever. It was Malachi! It was Malachi! Let me see how she cut. It was Malachi! Yeah, let me see how And I did something wrong. Nah, good at me! What was it? Damn! Stop, dude. Bitch, I went in front of you a gram. Okay, what does this comment say? Bro needs a co-signer to buy a slice of pizza. Seriously. I don't think it goes that low. A four? Why don't I just make it a zero at that point? Like, if you're under... I mean, does it go into the 200s? I think it maybe it does. Uh, four. Jeez, if that's true. Hopefully you're not needing a loan here anytime soon, buddy. I'm a Mazungo like you. I'm, I'm a Mazungo like you. Guys, guys, guys. This is 2024. You can't be doing... <laughs> If I was doing this, I would get canceled. <laughs> Sorry, they're doing, they're doing uh. white face. Oh, that's hilarious. I mean, what do you... <laughs> I think that's hilarious. Whatever, dude. Oh, this girl again. I've seen her a thousand times. That's such a weird... <laughs> this guy again. <laughs> pretty close, pretty close. Not quite, but... Uh... Yeah, pretty, pretty close to the reality. <laughs> False advertising then. Take all you want. I'm sorry, sir. Sir, sir, I'm sorry. Hey, whoa, 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 whoa. You said take all you want. I'm not saying what he's doing is right. It's not considerate. 
What is ain't breaking the, the rules or the law? Y your, it's your words. Take all you want. But hey, man, let's be nice to other people. Would you want anyone else to take all the Kit Kats? So you have none? Come on. Let's watch this again here. <laughs> to the comments. The comments on some of these videos. We might have to uh, delve into these comments. That was perfect. <laughs> I begged my boyfriend to let me go golfing with him. He's going to hit you. Move, 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 move. Ah! <laughs> you actually hit my hair. You just, you literally just dodge death. Sincerely. That hits you in the temple. Boom, you go. What are you doing? Why are you standing there, dude? You know better. Clearly you don't. We lost a purse at the bar. So I'm like, hmm, what's in this purse? Let me see. Maybe we might find a person. I kid y'all the f*** not. Look what's in this purse. <laughs> You've got to be kidding me. That person goes out way too much. They do. And now who knows where they are now without their fries. Could be a tough next day for them. Point of view, first time flying Spirit Airlines. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> if it's me, I ain't flying with any airlines. That's just, you guys know that. But, Spirit, you're gambling there. Just a little bit, maybe. I don't know. Someone. Your work is easy because you sit at a computer all day. Me. <laughs> Sitting there doing V lookups all day on Microsoft Excel. Yeah, you try doing that all day, huh? What do you call a cow with no legs? That's easy, ground beef. What do you call a cow with two legs? I don't know what. Your mom. Oh, dang. Oh, I did not see that coming from innocent granny here. That's messed up. Granny here in 2024 making your mom jokes. Jeez, that was gold. Keep it up. So how was Lennox's first plane ride? <laughs> oh! You, dude, you're going to get... Put that back on. Right now. Put that back on right now before something bad happens. Oh, that's terrifying. Oh, jeez. <laughs> what are these planes made of? Plastic? Come on. Literally no one, every girl in an airport. Fit check. Oh, yeah. Look at that. Look at the shoes. Dumb. Guys, make sure when you see influencers in the wild, you you record them so they can see. At least maybe in the future, they probably won't be able to see it at the moment. But in the future, they can look back at themselves and be like, what the hell was I doing? Her. It's the first night back at school. What are you up to? Him. Blake's going to ride. It's here. Is he potting? <laughs> Oh, that's the line. Oh, that's, that's not the line. Oh, 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 oh my Get God. Get in there. Get in there. Oh. 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 Yes. Oh, dude, the mayhem. Look at this. That's what I'm talking about, boys. Bonding experience you'll never forget. I love this. This is what happens in the dorm rooms. This is phenomenal. What a putt, dude. Get on the tour. At least get on the, the, the putt putt tour. They gotta have a world championship of putt putt. They gotta. If they do, I gotta get in on that. Making a sandwich with the booty bread. I was up. I mean, I hit rock bottom. I'm disgusted. I was disgusted then when I did it. I'm disgusted now. <laughs> we're, 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 this is, you know, this community is torn on the, the booty bread. It's called the butt. Okay, it's called the butt of the loaf. If it's there, if that's all that's left, you eat it. Okay? If you're rich, or if you're in a good spot for the week or the month, get a new loaf. Okay? Tell me your husband helped with the laundry without telling me. Oh, jeez. Let's see. 
Uh, okay, hold on a sec. Hold on a sec. What am I missing here? Because he folded it the fat way, the wrong way. Look at that. You don't want him to help. You're going to get mad at him for not helping. And then when he does help, then you're going to get mad at him again. It's a lose-lose. This is not fair, guys. This is not fair. Don't let her treat you like that. Me trying to figure out how the next administration is supposed to fix the current administration when they are the same administration. All right, explain this to me like I'm a two-year-old, okay? Because there's an element to this thing. I just cannot get through my thick head. <laughs> Sadly, uh, there is the vote blue no matter who crowd. It doesn't matter what the message is, even if it is sincerely, superiorly more idiotic than any campaign in history. Um, they're still going to vote. It doesn't matter. So that, it's a real sad situation we have. Point of view, the Californian that moved to Texas. Oh, so we moved out to Texas right after COVID. I want to say it was June of 2020, babe. Yeah. Couldn't do California anymore. Sue me. All the corrupt politicians, the violence, the crimes. Uh, so we found this cute little place like 30 minutes north of Dallas. Get this, get this. We sold the place in Fresno, right? We get out here, we paid cash, $30,000 over asking for this place. And we still got it for what was it, babe? 310? 320 now it's worth 720 on Zillow can you believe that it's so crazy don't get me wrong though we got what we paid for when we first moved out here like the whole town was just a bunch of cowboys and farmers like you go around the city you hear banjos playing like it's deliverance oh, but things have gotten better like they renovated the downtown area there was this old taxidermy place like what redneck out here is doing their taxes anyways they flattened that place out now it's like an ev charging station there was this old historical general store it went out of business that was like a great spot for boba so like things are getting better just as the locals keep getting priced out so fingers crossed that keeps happening but the one thing that i hate though the one thing that i hate about this place the guns Everybody has guns on them, on their body, in their trucks, at their house. Like, you're a bunch of farmers. What do you need guns for, right? Oh, dude. Texans, I know there's a lot of you watching. How many times have you encountered this in your life in the last, let's say, five years? Where these idiots, they move from the place. And I'm not saying everyone in California is an idiot. Relax, okay? I know there's some of you good ones out there. I say this all the time because people freak out. The super, super liberal people from California move to Texas and then create this liberal cesspool that they ran from. They vote for the same things that they ran from. Austin, Texas comes to mind. How many times have you seen this? And is it getting worse in Texas? Should we be worried about Texas? When your date doesn't look like their picture. My father gets a job at the Palm Restaurant. My uncle Junior works there, who is a Jehovah's Witness, <laughs> believe it or not. He went from Catholic to Jehovah. So basically, my grandmother <laughs> wanted us all to switch from Catholic to Jehovah. You know, meanwhile, we're from Harlem. We're, my father's doing coke. <laughs> Any of you have been on this situation? My wife likes to claim that I did that. I catfished her. Truly. That's not true. Um, come on, man. You think you just fell out of a coconut tree? <laughs> <laughs> You exist in the context of all in which you live and what came before you. I'm glad we're spreading the message. Keep spreading the message, ladies. Yeah, whatever the message means or is, the deep philosophical message, let's keep spreading it. How would you do in today's video? Did you laugh at all? If you did, you lose. You have to watch again on Sunday. Or if you laugh, you lose. You do a punishment. And I know all of you guys do the punishment. Stop telling me you don't. You're just trolling me. I know it. I know you guys all listen. Let me know how you did down in the comments. While you're down there, please like this video. Please help us get it recommended to others. That's it for today's video. Until next time, I'm Tyler Zed, and this is Education. Tic-tac-toe. A winner. Idiots.